Will somebody please cue that fight? Samurai Pizza Cat! Oh yeah! Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? Samurai Pizza Cat! Right on! They're stepping out crime and you know that ain't baloney. They're Speedy Serviche, he's the leader of the bunch. That's right. A heck of a fighter ah. makes a heck of a lunch. Oh. And little polyester, who's never afraid of going into battle with the bad guys in vain. Here's Guido Anchovy, a wild romantic rover. This cat gets down, down with a love hangover. Here come the pizza cats. They're so bad, they've got more fur than any turtle ever had. <laughs> Stronger than old cheese. Stronger than dirt. 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 Stronger than the villain who's lower than low. It's a rotten yeah, shame yeah, yeah. he lives in little Tokyo. We've got a nasty bad bird and some nasty ninja crows. As soon as someone finds a script, we might begin the show. Sit right back, kick up your feet, and turn the sound up high. And if you want the full effect, go eat a pizza pie. <laughs> The headquarters of the Big Business Association and Lawn Chicken Croquette League. There is tension in the air as three or four reports of strange noises in the building have flooded in. The association has posted a night watchman with nerves of steel. Me and my big mouth. Sure, I'll be a night watchman. Why didn't I go into the tie business with my uncle when he asked me? Uh, bumps in the night? Who goes there? Hello? What will happen to the monarchy? The monarchy is only a figurehead, and we both know it! I don't want to be a figurehead when I grow up! Never mind that, you still need a good education. We'll find a new tutor. Even schedule recesses if you want. Be reasonable, but... This is a Stand for much more of this humiliation. Ah! Great. A real life make believe emperor who thinks he's a stat singer. Well, at least I've got a good dental plan. All I want is a companion, a playmate, a loyal friend who'll make me laugh now and then. Loyalty? How do kids think these things up? Hey, that was absolutely disgusting. That sneeze probably means Lucille was talking about me. Yep, time for a sneeze. Hey, Bob, that was a perfectly good pineapple pizza before you went and ruined it. Not to worry. I'll put all my favorite ingredients on and eat the whole thing myself. Rhubarb looks especially appealing this time, but couldn't it use more catnip? Moderation in all things. <laughs> We're out! <laughs> okay, forget about the catnip. Cause you ate it! I got one for you, your highness. Why did the chicken cross the road? Tell me why. World travel. Uh -oh. Some of the joke police. I guess you had to be there. Anyone else got a funny story to tell? You figure now would be a good time to mention that other business? Those peculiar goings on are making my constituents mighty nervous. My distinguished colleague here and I would like to know, sir, what in the world it was that terrified the bananas off that guard last night? Chased him out of the building, did it? What do you know of this? <laughs> I don't know why you're asking me about it, but I've heard that some fools actually think there's a ghost in the one word. Really? A ghost in the wall? I want to beat that poltergeist! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Perfect! Now she wants to meet a ghost! Later that night, mysterious events are taking place in the headquarters of the Big Business Association and Office for the Advancement of the Hopelessly Stupid. How's the work on the carousel progressing? Well enough, but I still don't understand. Don't understand the purpose of a carousel that moves all of Little Tokyo? It's obvious. If the city is constantly spinning round and round, the citizens will always be off balance and dizzy, and I can bring them under my power. I get it now, but there's a monkey wrench in the ointment. Monkey wrench? The men are putting in 22 hours a day, and by midnight they're pooped. Perhaps a late night snack would cheer them up. Got something in mind? I found this on my doorknob. It says they deliver pizza 24 hours a day within three minutes. It would nourish them and make the work festive. With your permission, I call this joint and place an order. What a splendid idea. I give it my wholehearted support. Of course, it will all come out of your pocket. What? Pizza Cass, your order's in the oven. Let's see if I got this straight. You want three dozen extra-large pizzas delivered to the Big Business Association building at midnight. Your name, please? Mr. Geriatric? Uh, he'll be there. Just leave a light in the window for him. Hey, what's Atric feeding? A battalion? He's up to some funny business. You can count on that. This'll work out great. Here's our chance to check out those strange noises in the building at night. You suppose it's another big cheese plot? It wouldn't surprise me at all, and if it is, the samurai pizza cats will expose it. Let's get me over there quick. Good evening, shoppers. Pizza cats proudly announced the delivery of more hot, delicious pizzas to our bon vivant clientele. In the interest of public safety, please keep all ping pong balls out of the chandeliers when not in use, and clip those coupons. And always remember to test your buzzards at least twice a month. Upwardly mobile? No, dear, that's a spy satellite for keeping an eye on Congress. Time to put the old eyeball on my objective. Ra ra ra! Yaka daka says boom, flip that way, yay! You boy, man, that's one ugly girl! Is the cheese? You were expecting Anne Margaret? Ah, uh, what's with the getup? Road Company of Greece. I got Olivia Newton John's part. Okay, by you. Yeah, if you don't mind, I'd like to pick up those elegant pizza travel packs. Pick them up later. Ah, uh, I got no problem with that. Why don't I just leave them here and pick them up uh, later? See ya. <laughs> the exit's that way. Gotcha, thanks. That kid's so dim he couldn't find his way out following a trail of sausages. With cat-like tread, Speedy begins to search the premises. He seeks out every little crook and nanny. Uh, knack and croony. Crack and noony. Noon and cracky. Knacky, noony, cracker. You mean nook and cranny. Yo, sure, that's easy for you to say. Anyway, you get the point. But just in case you didn't... Reach, partner! I deliver peaches. Hey, you're Princess Violet. What are you doing down here? My home's gonna be hazardous. You're gonna be my escort. Me? An escort? <laughs> <laughs> you're kinda cute. This is gonna be more fun than I've had in a long time. <laughs> what do I do now? We didn't rehearse this scene. I'm a princess and you have to do whatever I say. Let's see what excitement we can scare up. Samurai Humiliation 101. That'd be the ghost? It's just your imagination. You know what? You got a great imagination? Cause I see it too! You guys need a ride? <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I should bring you up to date on what's happening in our story. The only problem is I can't figure it out myself. Obviously, Speedy and Princess Violet are in big trouble. But the writer of this script is going to be in even bigger trouble when the producer sees this episode. Yeah, well, let's see what happens next. Blah!
I'm beginning to get the feeling that this whole show is going down the drain. You know, of course, that this is bound to show up as a ride in the Pizza Cat's theme park. Twice on Sundays. Huh? What a sprinkler system! Adventures, adventures, adventures! Then at the last moment, the hero in the white hat thought of a way to save the beautiful maiden, didn't he? Didn't he? It's what I had in mind when I got up this morning. Ah, we're just gonna have to bust our way out of here! Paper mache wall. Weird swimming pool. Can't pinpoint his location, Francine. I'm trying, Polly. I sure don't like the look of this. Hey, the dude's probably just taking a nap somewhere. And... Our pal of ours is in trouble, pal. We're on our way, pal. <laughs> Love your sense of humor. <laughs> There's got to be an easier way to make a living than this. You're so heroic, like Sean Connery. What? Oh, yeah, a lot of people get the two of us mixed up. This must be what that bug was trying to keep us from. I've seen basement furnaces, but this is ridiculous. This is undoubtedly another insidious invention courtesy of Big Cheese and his allies. <gasps> you mean there's villainy afoot? And to make matters worse, somebody around here is up to no good. Huh? What's the matter? My energy pack is spent. I'll have to switch to the auxiliary pack and quick before that bug finds us again. Huh? What? Where? It was... But I didn't bring my auxiliary energy pack! Oh, it works! Restricted area, and we don't like nobody <gasps> dropping in. So drop out! No surprise visitors, get it? Okay, next time I'll call first. Get your foot off my friend! I'm a princess, and you have to do whatever I say. You heard what I said! I don't take orders from you. Time for the cavalry. Oh! can't be in two places at once. Unless he's in two pieces. Let's go find him. Okay! Good luck. Thanks. Sure. Good evening, shoppers. Once again, by popular demand, the Pizza Cats take pleasure in entertaining you with their high-grade delivery service and sparkling humor. For your safety and ours, please keep your hands securely in your pockets. Ladies in the front row will kindly remove their hats. Thank you. Dear, just promise me you will be a lawyer when you grow up. I prefer to make an honest living. It isn't that I don't have complete confidence in their abilities, but this looks big. Bad cat, ready for a special job? Go help Polly and Guido. Hey, you just point that pop gun and I'm on my way wherever you need me. Three, two, one. That cat is the super dude we call upon when the situation gets so heavy that even the writers can't figure out a solution. By the way, kids, don't try this stunt at home. Remember, these are professional cartoon characters. Mark play Saturday for poker as usual? You bet. Oh, I hate it when this happens! Okay, kiddo? Nothing a pizza wouldn't fix. Guido, give Speedy the auxiliary energy pack we brought along for him. I forgot to bring it. What? <laughs> you guys are gonna have to protect the princess. Sometimes you take that cake. Would you please see to it that Speedy gets home, that cat? Yes, man. Hey, you <gasps> two. Unless 
you got pizza travel packs, you're in for major trouble. <gasps> we'll take care of that other little runt later. Attack! <laughs> <laughs> But there's more at stake here than a shaved cat. Stay thy hand, villain, be not proud. I rebuke thee with the powers of anchovy paste and tomato puree. Uh -huh. Now we're really going to see something exciting, and I think it's about time, don't you? And remember, kids, tell all your friends you saw it here on Samurai Pizza Cats! <laughs> Samurai Pizza Cats! Now for the big finish! <laughs> Pizza Cats triumph again! Yay! What? what? What's all this about? <laughs> Big cheese, I demand an explanation. Oh, may I, uh... Don't deny oh. it! Big cheese, if you're behind this, you'd better come clean. You know what can happen when I get annoyed. Oh, dear, I'm afraid you've discovered my surprise. What surprise? Well, that is, I mean... To amuse the princess, I was constructing an underground amusement park. But we don't have to call it Cheese Land. You mean rides and stuff? Yeah, lots of rides. Oh, well, in that case, okay. Just make sure it's ready by the end of the week. Now, why didn't I think of that? Who cares? Just think of the fun we'll have. <laughs> curses, curses of all the rotten luck turning my evil scheme into an amusement park. I can't stand it. Calm down, Lord Grace. You're starting to overload. <laughs> <laughs> You hide your twit. <sighs> and so, once again, the forces of truth, justice, and the best pizza in Little Tokyo triumph over Seymour Cheese's nefarious scheme. And the citizens can face the day with confidence in their champions, the Samurai Pizza Cuts. A man claiming to be a talent agent visits Polly and Lucille and promises to make them stars. They jump at the chance and decide to pursue singing careers and leave the restaurant business. Guido and Speedy are shocked by this and begin an argument that threatens to break up the Pizza Cats. Of course, things are not all they seem. The agent is really Bad Bird, who's carrying out another evil plan to destroy our heroes. Well, someone put my tongue back in my mouth. As the girls sing before a packed house, their microphones emit an hypnotic tone, which causes the audience to fall under Cheese's control so that he can use them to provide the power for an invasion of the town. Will the Big Cheese finally take over, Little Tokyo? Will the Pizza Cats break up for good? Will Polly change her name to Polly Wood and become a backup singer for Madonna? Look for the answers to these and other important questions in Singing Samurai Sensation on the next Samurai Pizza Cats! Ladies and gentlemen, the Samurai Pizza Cat Fan Club Oath! The Pizza Cats are Samurai, and I'd like to note their antics take your breath away. Like fur balls in your throat. We kittens are a special breed. We never call retreat. Whenever Big Cheese knocks us down, we land upon our feet. 
So hail for thee, O oh Pizza Cat. Please ring your little bell. Although you may be pen and ink, we know you'll fight like Pizza Cat! Hope you like the show, it's the best that we could do. Come on, right, pick the gas. If you could do better, then we'd leave it up to you. Just a reminder, you might like to know, the cats will be back for another big show. <laughs> oh, gosh.